Everyone loves playing dress up. Well, these people took it way beyond that. Today, we're counting down the top 10 cosplayers who took it to another level, as voted on by you, the viewer. Welcome to Rank Worthy, the show where we rank just about everything. From her beachwear tracer cosplay to her spot-on Mad Moxie, Jessica Negri has been at the top of the cosplay world since she came to the scene 10 years ago. Originally from Reno, Nevada, she now lives in Phoenix, Arizona. She's become so popular on the convention scene that she's even gone on to become an anime voice actor, publicity model, and spokesperson. Hendo is one of the most acclaimed and industrious cosplayers currently working. With over 440,000 followers, she's also one of the most popular people in the scene right now. She started popping up years ago with her Spider Gwen cosplay and has been designing and fabricating amazing costumes ever since. This drag queen Deadpool, aka Dragpool went completely viral last year at San Diego Comic-Con. He was the talk of the town. Fingers crossed, Dragpool will keep showing up with newly updated costumes and the flamboyant attitude to match. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you put a stormtrooper into the background of a Run DMC video? Well, you'd probably get something close to the Hip Hop Trooper. Created by the cosplayer Strider, Hip Hop Trooper has been on the scene for just over 10 years. Unlike some of the other people on this list, Strider doesn't have a menagerie of personas he slips into. For better or for worse, he is the Hip Hop Trooper. People love it when two separate things combine to become one better thing. Peanut Butter and Jelly, Batman and Robin, Spock and Kirk, the list goes on and on. But we bet this next costume on our list isn't one that you've thought of. Ready? What if Darth Maul was a predator? Pretty great, right? Yaya Han is one of the old school big names in the cosplay world. She has hundreds of thousands of followers online, her own fashion line, and has appeared on TV multiple times. She has many iconic looks, including Black Cat, Catwoman, and Chung Lee. This apocalypse costume was made exclusively for the San Diego Comic-Con by artists from the Cinema Effects School in Los Angeles. It was intended to bring awareness to the school's makeup effects program, which it obviously did because this thing went viral. Arguably one of the biggest cosplayer and gamer influencers, Belle Delphine has over 4 million followers online. She also does a hell of a diva cosplay. She sparked almost as much outrage as memes have been generated about her. But you know what? She's laughing all the way to the bank because she's recently sold countless bottles of her own bath water to fans. Good on you, Belle. Good on you. A lot of people say that Heath Ledger's Joker was the greatest portrayal of the character the silver screen has ever seen. Well, those people haven't seen Anthony Messiano. Anthony cosplays under the name Harley's Joker, and man, is he the living essence of the clown prince of crime come to life. When asked about the visual inspirations for his costume, Missiano cited Brian Boland, Marshall Rogers, and Dave McKean. Looks like he got the street cred to back up the killer looks. What do you do when you need to fight the Hulk? Wear a costume specifically made to take him on. What do you do when you need to attend an overcrowded convention center? Wear a costume specifically made to make your life a living hell. Look at that thing! It's amazing to see the Hulk buster lumbering around. Who would have thought that objectively the best thing to come out of the MCU would be the fact that it would inspire so many overly elaborate cosplays? And on that note, check back next time to find out what else is rank worthy.